Hey, you. Don't you hear the bell? I'm here to help you. Rule number one, don't get me killed. Where's your sword? Stick to the darkness until you find one. Watch out. They're coming this way. Okay. Keep moving. More of them. Find a place to hide. Hold up. Run, and they'll be able to hear it. Did you see those banners? We could totally sell them to a gallery. And the blood will make him look even more authentic. Get under that ledge. From there, you can pull yourself up. History of the Hisomu clan, as written by its masters. Five hundred men lie, vanquished before Tetsuji takes off his blindfold. It's very definition. Sneaks into our games in many forms. Sometimes it slips in under the guise of a role-playing game, such as a no-kill playthrough of Deus Ex, Human Revolution. In other instances, it blends with an action title, like the Sam Panther Fisher version of Splinter Cell Conviction. And not often enough, it comes in its purest shape, in which you face near certain death, or at least, extremely long odds, if you're spotted. The Thief not. series, quintessentially. Or, in 2012, Mark of the Ninja. Laudably, there isn't just one trick in Ninja's bag. Instead, it takes the best ingredients from both new and old examples of the stealth genre and mixes but them remember, into a potent knockout brew. The them. look is gorgeous thanks to the same talented artists and animators responsible for developer Cly Entertainment's other downloadable game series, Shank. Anytime you make an undetected kill, the camera zooms in and darkens the background, highlighting you and your victim as you plunge your blade into him and then toss his body aside or through a grate. You'll be forgiven if you mistake what you're watching for an M-rated animated series on Adult Swim. But gameplay is most important. In a move that's simultaneously refreshing and familiar, Mark of the Ninja is a 2D stealth adventure that, at first glance, looks a bit Metroidvania-esque. You'll jump and grapple hook your way around mostly linear levels, though occasional path choices and backtracking occur, clinging to walls and ceilings hiding in floor grates, and pressing B to duck behind potted plants or in doorways, all in the name of avoiding detection. 
you begin with only these most basic of moves, the ink from but as you finish no levels objects. and secondary objectives Focus within each mission, such as completing an area alarm. without raising an alarm, you'll earn medals redeemable for new moves that significantly liven up the game and open up your options. For instance, there's a taunt that lets you string up your kills in order to terrorize the other guards, a la Batman. Or the not-so-subtle nod to Metal Gear Solid, the cardboard box. Seeing your black-clad hero reach out from underneath the simple disguise, grab a victim, and drag him back under the box while his buddies ignorantly walk by is as sadistically rewarding as it is hilarious. More seriously laudable is Ninja's scoring system. While many stealth games claim you can play them how you want, read, lethally or non-lethally, this one actually rewards you with metal earning XP either way. If you knife every fool, you'll earn some points. Hide their bodies when you're done and you'll net more. Terrorize them and you'll bag yet more. Or score plenty of points just for sneaking by the bad guys undetected. This is complemented by additional play styles that become available as you go, like Way of the Ninja. This removes your sword, thereby making it nearly impossible to kill anyone but gives you extra distraction tools, such as the aforementioned cardboard box, firecrackers, terror darts, etc. It only changes the way the game is played, akin to watching a different director's cut of your favorite movie. All of these added perks culminate in the highly recommended new game plus mode, in which the enemies get tougher but you've got access to your full arsenal of unlocked goodies right from the first stage. You will want to replay the 6-8 hour campaign. Though probably not for the story, but oh, those drool-inducing animated cuts. The plot starts simple and never really evolves, though it's just engaging enough to make you stop and think when you reach its forked ending. Unfortunately, neither choice at the campaign's climax pays off with a revelation or additional backstory. Or anything, really. Ninja's only other crimes are, first, that its gorgeous animations aren't showcased enough. There simply isn't enough variety in the kills. Nearly every fatal scene shows you slicing a bad guy at the neck or through the belly. Even the gameplay side of this could be fresher, you're always pressing X in the cardinal direction for every fatal blow. We would have loved to have seen, literally, with this gorgeous art style, more choice and ways to off your enemies. And second, Ninja loses its way a bit around two thirds of way through the game with a mildly frustrating stage packed with platforming puzzles. It doesn't last too long, but it is the clear weak point of the campaign. Also, a quick note for PC players, though Mark of the Ninja is playable using traditional WASP plus mouse first person shooter style controls, it's quite awkward here. I highly highly Run. recommend using an Xbox gamepad for the smoothest steering ninja experience possible. Still, forget about being among the cream of the downloadable game crop, that much is a given. Mark of the Ninja is among the finest stealth games you can currently play, period. And if you need an extra anecdotal, but almost always dead on accurate, verification of ninja's greatness? Playing it at the IGN office was like shining the bat signal into the sky fellow editors kept walking by my desk, independently inquiring, what is this? In a curious tone tinged with pure excitement. The most common quips? This looks amazing. This is from the Shank guys, isn't it? The animation is beautiful. And, finally, wow. This is the kind of game I enjoy shouting from the rooftops about particularly since it's not a $60 blockbuster release with a multi-million dollar marketing budget backing it up. So let me do you a favor and shine a guiding light on this shadow dwelling hero. Play it. You'll thank me later, I promise. Verdict. Mark of the Ninja illustrates how digitally downloaded games continue to be a breeding ground for some of today's most creative content. This is stealth done right, with the presentation prowess to match. It's easily a contender for downloadable game of the year and it absolutely deserves a place in your digital game collection. I saw you. Run!
tried to make him look the other way. I think I heard something. I know I heard something over here. See that door? Don't open it yet. Just lean against it and try to sense what's on the other side. Fear death. Our lives have been cruel. The clan must always endure. Scouted up ahead. They're taking Ninja as hostages, and Master Azai is in trouble. We have to hurry. What? Hey! Shots fired! I scouted up ahead. 